We are in uncharted waters, to use a nautical expression, but shipping has always been international. We will thrive whatever the settlement we have in the end with the European Union. The UK Chamber can play an incredibly supportive role to shape the future of our economy. Shipping is absolutely fundamental to the health and well-being of the UK's economy. Government does listen and the UK's Chamber of Shipping is well respected as the authentic voice of shipping. Government's minds will never be more open. They will never be more willing to listen than in the next few months. We will be much more powerful if we act together. We need to attract the best and the brightest and make it easy for them to do their jobs. If you are looking to come to sea and you are a young woman, I think you should. It's very enjoyable. You're getting paid to travel and learn and you have a career out of it, so it's a really great opportunity. So once you've got the qualification in marine engineering, if you want to go to sea, the door is there for you. If you want to come and work on land, on shore or any other industry, you've got vast experience. I feel like I could go straight from a simulation to a real ship. It's the best job in the world, but it's got to be in your blood. If somebody was to put Felix to have action, the UK supermarkets would run out of toilet paper in four days. A high-speed broadband connection on board ship would have a life-changing effect. I wanted to know that my family were OK when I was away for months at a time. We're intending to build a full-scale sailing vessel capable of navigating autonomously. If you have autonomous vessels, they are very vulnerable potentially to cyber attack. So we really have what we call a socio-technical solution, which involves both technology and people. We want to prevent the motorway pileup, if you like, in the seas, and that's our job and it's extremely important. A fundamental point is to make sure that that data, when it comes into us, is transferred, put out to the mariner, and making sure the mariner is kept safe at sea. The one thing you can't do at sea is call the emergency services, so the crew on board really have to be able to deal with any situation that they come up against, and that's what the whole point of the training is about. It's a little bit of lump in throat moment, I suppose, really. Um, there's a big attachment, emotional attachment people get with boats. And may God bless her, and all who sail in her. Bye.